Hello friends, welcome to Oracle 23C new feature video series. In this video, we are going to learn about one of the very interesting and very useful feature for developers that is about table value constructor. So before getting into the Oracle documentation and example with respect to this feature, let us see a small example with respect to a simple insert statement. So here what I am trying to do, I am trying to create a table called emp underscore t with two columns, employee number and e name. And I want to insert three employees into this table. So obviously we'll write three insert statement. If you look into this insert statement, we are using a keyword called a values. So basically this values class will help us to populate one row of data into this table. That means whatever the values we are providing as part of this values class will get inserted. If I want to insert three set of values, obviously I have to use three insert statement and three times I have to use this values class. So till the previous version, using this values keyword or using this values class, we'll be able to populate only one row of data. From 23C onwards, using the same values class, we can populate more than one row of data. That means rather than writing three insert statement like this, we can write a single insert statement with multiple values using this values class. By that way, multiple rows can be populated into this insert statement. We'll see an example in a while. Before that, let us just quickly look into the Oracle documentation. So here is a snippet from Oracle documentation. As you can see here, the database SQL engine now supports a values class for many types of statement. Earlier, it was supported only for insert statement, but from 23C, this values class is supported for many of the SQL statement. Okay. Now this new class allows for materializing row of data on the fly by specifying them using the new syntax without relying on the underlying existing table. Oracle support this values class for select statement, insert statement and merge statement. Now let us look into this example for each one of this. So basically what we are going to do is we are just going to see four example. One for insert statement. In fact, this values class was already part of insert statement. But from 23C, this values class was extended for insert statement to support populating multiple row of data. And the second example is on select statement. We'll, we'll understand how it is used for the select statement. And the third example is on merge, how the values keyword is used as part of merge. And the fourth example is on how this values keyword help to populate or provide a data as part of the with class. Let us start with the very first example on insert. So first let me drop the table employee t. I'm creating the employee t with two columns employee number and e name. Generally we used to insert the data like this like insert into employee t values of first data, second data and third data. Let me commit the data. This is how we used to populate the data till the previous version. Okay from 23c we don't have to write three separate insert statement instead we can write a single insert statement also. But in fact there is another alternate way which we used to follow till the previous version. Instead of writing three insert statement, generally what we will do, we will write a single select statement something like this which provides a result set and this result set can be directly inserted into this table. By this way, rather than writing three insert statement like this, with one single insert we will be able to populate the data into the table. Okay, from 23c onwards, in fact there is much simpler syntax to populate all the three uh, rows in a single insert statement. Let me show you the example. From 23C, the syntax supported is something like this. We can provide all the values as part of the single values class like this. Arun, comma, three, Krish. You can see here, as part of this values class, I'm providing the data for three rows here. Let me execute this insert statement. Now you can see the informations are inserted. Let me truncate this table and reinsert. Truncate table, table name. Table is truncated. I'm just executing this insert statement, which is at line number 20. Insert statement is executed. Let us query from the table. As you can see here, by using a single values class, we are populating data for three rows. So here is the script for your reference. So from 23C onwards, this value class is extended for insert statement to populate more than one row of data, right? Now let us look into an example for select statement. 
Generally, to prepare a small a temporary result set, we used to write a select statement like this, which can be used across the uh, select statement. Instead of writing like this, from 23C onwards, we can use the values uh, class as part of the select statement. Let me show you the syntax. So this is very straightforward. We will we'll select a data and then we are just concatenating all the select statement using a union keyword so that this result set can be used across the other, other parts of the SQL statement. But from 23C, instead of writing like this, there is much simpler uh, syntax available. Something like this. We can say select star from. We can use the values class as part of this from class. Values of 1, comma Ravi and then 2, comma Arun. So here what we need to do is we just need to give a table name here. Let me give the table name as T and then we need to give a column name for this. Let's say this is ID and let me give the uh, second column name as name. Now let me execute. Now you can see here this select statement is using this values class to provide a data for two rows. So here uh, this is slightly different from the insert statement. Here we need to provide a table name and then we need to give the column name. So this column will be mapped against each. For example, ID column will be our first column and this will be our name column which will be mapped for the uh, as per the uh, tuple value like one will be mapped to ID and the Ravi will be mapped to name. So here is the script for your reference. So uh, very similar to our uh, insert statement even in select statement we can use this values class to provide multiple row of data. Right Now let us look into the third example how this values class is used as part of the merge statement so i'm creating another table called employee underscore new with the same structure of two column so here you can see the merge statement so basically the merge statement will help us to merge a data from a source into target so merge into will be a target table and using class will provide a source table so based on the matching condition, if it match, the data from the source table will be read and updated into target table. If there is no match find between the source and the target table, then the information will be inserted from source into the target table. So the key thing here is in this using class generally will provide a source as a table or we can provide a select statement, a, a result set as a source. So the table can be used as a source or a result set can be used as a source. Okay, let me show you an, an example here. So in this, in the next select statement or in the next merge statement, I provided a select statement as a source. So here is a select statement. Okay, so from using this source, whenever it is matched, the information will be updated or inserted into this target table. Okay, I have already covered the merge statement. That's why I'm just going a little fast here. If you want to understand the merge, I would suggest you to watch that video. The link of that video is given in the description. Okay. From 23C onwards, instead of writing the result set like this, we can use the values class. Let me show you that example here. Now you can see from 23C, we can write the values class in the uh, use as part of the using. So uh, this is very similar to this part. Instead of the hard coded or instead of the select statement, here I'm using the values class as part of the merge so let me just execute the merge statement which is using the values part so you the, the learning here is using this values class we are providing multiple row of data as a source for this merge statement so here is the statement for reference again the key learning here is how to use this values class as part of the merge statement okay now let us look into the next example how this values class is used as part of the with class. Okay, here is an example of the usage of with class. Again, I have already covered the how to write a with class and what is the advantage of the with class. The link of that video I'll just give in the description for reference. Okay, again, here I'm, I'm just writing a simple select a result set which I'm using as part of the with class. Instead of writing like this, we can even write the values class directly here. Something like values of like one comma a and then let's say two comma b so here we need to give the uh, column name let's say this is id and the second column is e name something like this okay 
Now both the queries are exactly the same. The only difference here is that in the second query, instead of the uh, select statement here, I'm just using the values class to provide a data for multiple row of data. So here is the script for your reference. Again, the key learning here is how to use the values class as part of the with class. Okay. Here is the script for your references. Uh, the key learning with respect to all these example, right? Like insert, select, merge, and with class is how to use this values class. In, in case of insert, it provides the data for multiple row. Same thing for select, same thing for merge, which will provide a data for multiple row. Okay. So if you would like to understand more on the with class and merge, I would suggest you to watch these sets of videos. The first two videos are for with class and the last video is for the merge statement. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. And thanks a lot for watching this video.